Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I thought it would just be fun to do kind of like a favorite slash haul video just of the past few months since we moved here to Switzerland. I had to repurchase a lot of new skincare beauty products just because I was trying to use a lot of that stuff up before I left Toronto, um, just to save a little bit of room in the suitcase. And unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I can't find the same products here, but the good thing is I've been trying new things, which usually I'm pretty loyal to my skincare and I don't really I'm not too adventurous in terms of makeup but I do have a few new really good products for you guys also has some fashion items um, a couple home things some shoes um, and hair products okay so first up I'll start with a few new pairs of shoes we were recently in London for a week um, personally I feel like that's a little bit too long for London London is like a New York you I don't know I personally feel you need like three or four days I'm maybe gonna make a short video. There are two new restaurants, well, new to me, that I tried. They were so amazing. You guys have to try them. So I'll make a short video about that. But when we were there, I wanted to pick up a pair of slides. We went into Lululemon just because I guess I'm spoiled as a Canadian. Lululemon is one of those items. It's by far cheaper in Canada. Um, I don't really think it's that popular in Europe. Like I've barely seen one person wear it here. Geneva is a little bit weird to me because out of anywhere in the world, people have money to shop here and they're really missing a lot of stores. I feel like this is an untapped market. I don't know why certain brands are not here. They have it in Zurich. I do notice people definitely don't shop probably as much. They buy more quality over quantity, but I still feel it's missing quite a few stores that would do really well, Lululemon being one of them because people are very active here. So anyway, when we were in there, I picked up these slides because I felt them and they just felt so soft and squishy, almost like a cloud. And one of the women working there, she saw me kind of like looking at them. She's like, oh my God, these are amazing. So I tried them on and you could tell they're really comfy. What I like about them, it feels, I haven't worn them outside, but it feels like this would not dig into your skin because it is so soft and smushy. My problem, I, in the past, I've had a pair of black slides and I had to sell them because they ended up cutting my feet in the summer. You know, when your feet get a little bit humid and your skin gets a bit sticky and they're really cutting my feet bad, these feel so nice. And sometimes too, just if you're wearing socks inside your house and the floors are cold, like it, the floors are really cold here, especially in the kitchen. Um, and if I have socks on, if I'm about to go to the gym, I sometimes just like to throw these on or if I have to just run downstairs to the mailbox, go downstairs to get a package, whatnot, just because we're moving in still, um, things are being delivered. So I just feel like a pair of black slides is something you, you need. I just feel like a pair of black slides is just something that you need and this might be great even to take on a holiday just to wear by the pool. So what I like about these are they are wide foot friendly and they're definitely foot shaped, but the cool thing is, and I think this is important for women's feet, sometimes in the past, slides that I've bought, this, there's almost too much fabric. It comes up too high, and then your foot kind of like flops around in there, but this is cut a little bit lower. So I find this is better for a woman's foot. They're really comfy. Normally I'm always a size nine US and that's the size I got in these. So next up, I got another pair of sneakers. I got these at Arquette in London. I've never been to that store, but I always see women wearing it online. And yeah, I really like that store. I just didn't need anything from there, except um, my fiance was buying something for himself. So we saw these shoes when checking out and I loved the colorway. These are the New Balance, the 530s. I own multiple pairs of these. So did I need these? No, but let me tell you. So I had a brand new pair ready to go. I probably got them a year ago in Toronto at TNT. Um, they were like a cream and they had a little bit of a blue. They were a very unique colorway. I've never seen anyone wear them. They came with two sets of laces. I had been saving that shoe for a year until my other ones wore out because the other ones I had for a few years, I just threw them out the other day. I don't know what happened in our shipping containers Everything arrived, but I'm missing five or six items, just random items, my brand new running shoes being one of them. I'm missing all my van shoes, a couple sweaters, a jacket. None of that stuff was packed together. We have no idea what happened. All the shipping containers showed up. So I have been looking for my shoes that I packed for like weeks now. I, I don't know what happened to them. It's the most bizarre thing. And I know I, 
I think I packed them at the top of the shipping container just because like I was really excited to wear them. I didn't want to have to dig for them. So currently now, this is my third pair of these, but in the past, I've owned six pairs of these. I love this shoe. It is wide foot friendly. That's why I like it. So because this shoe is unisex um, and it comes in men's sizes, I get the seven and a half US and I find that that is equal to a woman's size nine. And yeah, I just really like the colorway. They're white, cream, and silver. And I just thought these would be nice for springtime or just if you're going on holiday too, um, you know, and you just kind of need one white sneaker, this kind of goes with everything. And God, I opened the box before we left London because they forgot the security tag on them. I feel like every time I go to London, that always happens to us. So it's just a good reminder, like right when you get out of the store or before, um, just check to make sure they removed all the tags because especially if you're going back home to another country and they don't have that store How would they remove it? So yeah, these though I really like and they're super comfy Okay, next up I cut the flat version of the Zara black clogs I think I showed you these in another video that I was thinking about them, but I hadn't got them I like them because again, they're wide foot friendly and they're really comfy and they're low to the ground. I have a version that is more of a high heeled version, but I thought I would get these. And again, they fit true to size. I got the 40 or like a woman's size nine. And yeah, they're just really comfy and you can wear them with bare feet or socks. So next up, I got a few clothing items from Selfridges. So we went there after dinner one night. The one restaurant that I'll tell you guys about was really good. It was right by Selfridges. So we went in, we didn't have much time until closing. Otherwise I should have filmed like a in the dressing room try on because this brand Adenola, which probably a lot of you have seen online, but I don't think that they sell anywhere in person besides Selfridges. So it's kind of one of those like online only brands and you know, there's always duties, taxes, stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you get the right size. So I got their ultimate legging in the black and it just has Adenola written on there. Um, and I got the size medium, so they fit true to size. These were 40 pounds, which I felt like was a pretty good price. The front of them does not have a seam, which is nice. I would say that these fit very similar in size to the um, Lululemon Align pants, and I wear a size six in those. I always say this, normally I would not ever be a size six, but I actually have size six and four in the Lululemon Aligns. They're just so stretchy. These are pretty stretchy, but they're definitely more compressive. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's that type of material that it will never pill. It almost has, like in real life, a very slight sheen to it. I have a, an old pair of American Apparel leggings that are like this material. They're maybe a little bit shinier. The back looks like that. I don't know if you guys can see, but the seam there kind of goes into a very small V. I, I hate leggings that have that like thing that goes down the middle of your butt. I think that looks really weird. Um, but this is just very, very subtle. It's just a normal legging. I would say actually this would be a good tight. I mean, I've worn it to the gym, I think three times already. And um, you could definitely pair with like a baggy oversized sweater. What I like about their brand is it's made to either you can wear it to the gym or, you know, to the grocery store after. It's kind of like that athleisure in between. I won't try these on quite yet. I think I will make a dedicated try on video because I have a few pieces by Adenola and I actually ordered a few more. Um, oh, I said in another video, but in case you didn't see it. So my friend and I are doing the 75 hard challenge right now. So I would like to challenge Challenge anyone watching this if you guys want to get in good shape by summer join us if you've never heard about it I can probably post the link down below but it's pretty simple so you do the challenge for 75 days no excuses if you even mess up one day you have to restart the 75 days over I don't have a job right now this is the first time in my life I have never not been working a lot so I really have no excuses. So the rules are every day, you have to take a photo of yourself, a progress photo. You have to drink a gallon of water, or four liters of water. You have to read 10 pages of an actual book, it can't be an audio book. And you have to do two workouts every day. You have to follow some sort of a healthy diet. So I don't really like to do diets, but I genuinely like to eat healthy and no drinking alcohol, no cheat meals. So just eat a healthy, clean diet. And then the most challenging thing I would think for most people is every day you have to do two 
workouts at least 45 minutes in length. And one of those workouts has to be outdoors. So because of this, I'm working out every single day. And before we moved, I got rid of a lot of leggings. Like I didn't bring anything with me unless like I absolutely loved it. So I need more black leggings. And yeah, I really like these. So I had started the challenge before we went to London. I did it for 10 days. And then I just couldn't drink enough water in London. And I'm somebody, I'm all or nothing. I didn't want to cheat. So I'm like, okay, once we get back from London, I'm starting again. So I'm already over a week in already and I feel very good. So I would really challenge you guys to do it. You'll be feeling great by summertime. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to do it. So these are gonna be a great staple. Also too, someone asked if I would do a Q&A video, which I will totally do. If you guys have any questions for me, it can be about anything or maybe even about moving or yeah, if you have any suggestions, you can just leave it in the comments below too. I'll try to film that soon. Um, also from Adenola, I got, sorry, it's gonna show backwards because I'm filming on my phone because I am not a uh, high production YouTuber. <laughs> so this one just says Adenola Sport, active lifestyle. It's just like a varsity sweater. So I got the size large in this just because that's, this was the last one left in the store. I asked them if they had a size medium because this is a bit too big. Um, so I would get the size medium typically and it would still be oversized. The material inside is so nice and comfy and it's just so soft. And when you don't know what to wear, this is great. Just pair this with black leggings, you're good to go so this is another sweatshirt it is a size medium what i liked about this is the branding it does say adenola but you can barely see it right there and what i liked about this is because it just has a unique um, neckline on it for a sweatshirt and it's ruched a little bit so this was a size medium but it fit really big and i noticed that there was a warning it says you're not supposed to throw this in the dryer so be very careful because I wanted it to shrink though, I did throw it in the dryer. It definitely shrunk quite a bit. It, it's still fine. Now it's perfect, but probably I'm guessing, you know, if you order this stuff, you don't want it to shrink. So you're not supposed to wash their stuff on a temperature hotter than 30 degrees Celsius. And I noticed on our washing machine and it's a new one, um, kind of like the preset temperature is 40 degrees, which is too warm. So be very careful and just hang all of this up. I did actually notice on some of my other sweatshirts, it said the same thing from different brands. I've never known that, so just be careful. I like this, and like I said, I'll film another try on video for you guys soon. So also when we were in Selfridges, I noticed they had a Lululemon section. I've actually never seen that before. I didn't even know that Lululemon would be sold at another retailer. That's my first time seeing it. I will say Selfridges, I think is like, one of my most favorite stores I've ever been into in my life. It just goes to show you how much more money they have in London and people. But I mean, it just blows Toronto out of the water, blows here out of the water. It's just insane. They literally have everything in that store. It's, it's amazing. So I got my favorite leggings. Um, these are the Lululemon Align leggings. These are just in the black. I think you know, forever. These will be my favorite gym leggings, although I really like the Adenola ones, and these are over double the price. So they're very expensive, um, but they're really stretchy and soft. To go with these, in case you missed my Skims video, my favorite underwear now, and I really, now that I've been wearing it a bit more, I, I have to get more pairs. So it is the Fits Everybody High-Waisted Thong, and it's important to get the high-waisted one because I'll show you. So the edge, is very thick. And I was looking for underwear for years that you can wear to the gym that doesn't roll over at the sides and then it like bunches up and you can see it under your leggings. This does not do it. It's almost like hosiery, although it's thicker than that. It, it still goes on fairly opaque. I get the size medium if it's true to size, um, just because my natural waist is smaller than my hips and thighs. So I just stick with my true size in this, fits perfect, doesn't dig in, doesn't roll down. This is like a life-changing product for me. So slowly, um, as soon as I get rid of like other underwear that I don't like as much, I'm just gonna replace it with the skims. And if you bundle them in packages of three, it's a lot cheaper. So I would suggest doing that. I really feel like almost everyone would like this. So if you're like me and most of the things you wear are high-waisted, um, I 
you need this underwear. So next up, I'll show you a home item. I ordered this from Farfetch and I think it's a Danish brand and it's just a water jug, but I liked the color and it fits almost a liter of water. And just because I'm doing the 75 hard, I just wanted something that I can leave out on the counter that looks nicer than the Brita filter. The only thing I will warn about jugs like this, and it's not specific to this one, but I just know this from being like a waitress or bartending in the past, Sometimes jugs like this, um, when you're doing the final pour, there's always going to be like one little drip of water that goes down. I don't really know how to eliminate that. You have to pour from these ones pretty quickly and up higher, but there's always like one little drip, but where I have it, um, you know, sat in the kitchen, there's a tea towel there. I just quickly wipe it, but I just wanted to warn you of that if that's going to bother you but i don't know i just thought it was really pretty and maybe just to encourage you to get something nice to put water in if you struggle drinking water so next up i'll talk about some hair care products so because i moved here and the outlets are different i had to repurchase a new hair straightener so i opted to get the ghd one i've had this one in the past years ago it is fairly expensive but it's just it really i find is very good um so I will link this one down below. This is just the GHD original. It usually runs for maybe 200 something. I think I did get it on sale, but it is excellent. Um, right before I moved, I was just using a cheaper one in Toronto and it was kind of ripping my hair a little bit. So this one never does that. So if you guys are looking for a good straightener, this is my second time owning this. And my first one lasted so many years, honestly. I like well over a decade before I, you know, was just cheap and bought the, the crappy one, but it's it's definitely worth it to have a good one. But I wanted to tell you, so because we were in London for a week and I know we'll be going back there a lot now that we live in Europe, I figured, well, I might as well get a straightener um, with a plug for there because I've used those adapters in the past with hair tools and it's never worked. It's fried my hair or things have blown up. So this one, I just got it, um, I think we got it at Boots Pharmacy, yeah, I think. This is the Babless brand. Honestly, guys, this I think was only 20 or 25 pounds. So it's a lot cheaper than the GHD. It almost looks and feels the same and it is excellent. So I really wish I would have purchased this for here. Um, but yeah, this is great. And again, you know, it's just nice to have for travel. I'll have this probably, you know, forever. I have to shout out this hair oil again. I have bought this for years. I got thinking, I think I have now bought this on and off for well over a decade because I remember I was thinking I lent this to my aunt one year on vacation. That was a really long time ago. She loved it. She stole it from me. I love this. I have never found a hair oil that compares to this. I put it on damp hair out of the shower. It just makes your hair so soft and manageable, silky, shiny, but never greasy. It's a very light oil and it is expensive. Unfortunately, I always, you know, sometimes when this runs out, I'll try other ones. I always come back to this. So I just feel it's better just to spend the money and get this one. Um, my old hairdresser used to use this brand of products. That's how I first found it. They do sell it in a smaller bottle, but I feel you will really like this. It's much more affordable to get the bigger one. And I will say it does last a long time too. I've had this for quite a while now and I use it almost every day or I wash my hair. I would say I wash my hair every day or every other day and I use this every time and you just need a very small amount. So next up is a hairspray that my hairstylist used. Um, I got my hair done for something before we left. It feels like it's a light hairspray, but it has a firm hold. It smells nice and it says it has heat protection on it. So yeah, it's a firm hold finishing spray, but it doesn't feel sticky. It's from Living Proof, it's called their Control Hairspray. And I'll put up a photo of how she did my hair. I really liked it, it was slipped back in a bun, but just she made the back fancier and I thought it looked really nice. So next up, two things to make your hair shiny. So one is more affordable than the other. So this was just from the drugstore. This is the Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist. You only need a tiny little bit of this and just rub it in your hands and smooth it on your hair. It makes your hair super shiny, but almost 
borderline greasy if you put too much. If you just put a very small amount, this is good and this product is quite affordable. The other one that I really like, and I saw this in, I don't know if you guys ever watch Harush's videos. I really like watching her. She always does like her top 40 favorites of the month every once in a while. And I like her recommendations. So because she's into like hair and makeup, I kind of trust her opinion on that. So she recommended if you're doing um, a hair cell like this, the Balmain Paris Shine Wax. And I will say I really like it. I was almost out of another product that had like this, so I wanted to try this one. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'll try to angle my hair down. I have it in right now, and it does make your hair very shiny and soft, but not sticky and not greasy. So if you're looking for something like this, I would recommend it, and I feel like this will last forever. It has a very light scent. It looks like that. I don't know if you can see it but it is pretty workable, but it's, it's not very sticky. So something else I got actually for my scalp. So here I've noticed, you know, online or in the drugstores, they have a lot of different sunscreens I've never seen before. And I think this product was made if you're skiing or hiking. And if you have thinning hair or the part in your hair or, you know, a bald head, whatnot. So this is from Ultra Sun. It's an SPF 50. It's for your face, but it says face and scalp UV protection mist. So it's water resistance, fragrance free, and helps to prevent sun allergies. Advanced Swiss sun care made in Switzerland. That's a lot. So basically, um, I always like to wear my hair like this, or even if it's down, I usually always have a middle part. I try to wear a hat a lot of the time in the summer, but obviously I'm not going to every single day. And I find I'm always really good to put sunscreen on my face and I either forget to put sunscreen in the part of my hair or the sunscreen, it just kind of makes, you know, my hair look oily or I don't know. I just, often I forget. This is amazing because you can just spray this on top of your makeup or spray it here. I will say you can feel the product a little bit, but if you have your hair slicked back like this, I don't really think it matters. And it did work really well. Even in the winter here, the sun is really strong. It's, it's been very nice, it's very sunny, but I found just even on colder days walking around because the sun is so bright, um, the line in my hair was getting a little bit red already in the winter so i have to be very careful in the summer here something else i got from boots pharmacy was this estrid brand razor i i think that's the name of it i was actually looking here and you know this is kind of a flaw they didn't put their name anywhere on the razor which i like that the razor is minimalistic but i'm like i don't remember the name and yeah, so that's interesting. But I really do like how this shaves. I will say the handle, um, on the package it said heavy duty metal handle, but I feel like they should have put more grip on it because it is pretty heavy. Um, and in one way it's nice because it's weighted and you don't have to really put much pressure on your leg. It's kind of weighted down here, so it does the work for you but it makes it a little bit more slippery. So there is a rubber part there, but anyway, just in case you guys were wondering about this, um, you know, again, I'm having to switch over some of my products, so I bought some of these to use. Okay, two things, if you ever visit France that are a lot cheaper, um, so we have these products in Canada, probably most of North America has it, it just might be more expensive. So anything from Caudalie or the Nux brand, so this Caudalie, I have used this for years. I love it. It's just super expensive in Canada. I forget what I paid for this, but it came in a kit. Um, I'll put in a video because I was shocked at how cheap it was. So this is the Vino Perfect, the Radiant Serum. It's really good. It makes your skin bright and glowy. I don't have it on today. Um, I should have put it on, but yeah, usually when someone compliments my skin, I feel like it's because I've put this on. I just layer this on and then put sunscreen on top. So you can put this on morning and night and it's to brighten your skin, brighten any dark spots. I really like this. I've used this on and off for years. I would really recommend it. And so probably a lot of you have tried this before, but I just wanted to say it's much cheaper in France. So if you're thinking of getting it and you're trying traveling throughout Europe, get it in France for sure. So this is their multi-purpose dry oil and you can use this on your face, body and hair. I like to put this on um, after the shower or it's nice in the summer, just if you have exposed skin in the evening, I just feel like it gives your skin a healthy glow. And there's multiple ones of these. It, 
kind of smells a little bit old lady-ish, but this one, I'll link the one that I have. I feel like this one is better than some of them, but yeah, this one is my favorite. Another Swiss product, but you can maybe get it in other places in Europe. So this is an unscented body wash for the shower. I love it. It's The brand is Bepenthin, and it is in French and German, so I can't really read the German part of it. So this is just for sensitive skin. It's very moisturizing. It's good for children as well. So definitely in the shower, I always like to use an unscented body wash, and this one is very moisturizing. So some of the ones that I used to buy in the past Great, it's unscented, but it would leave my skin feeling dry. This does not do that at all. I've had this for quite a while and there's barely any gone either. I just feel you need a little bit on your loofah and it suds up a lot. And I wanted to try a new one just because the brand that I really liked, I got at, um, you know, at Noah's, it's like a health food store in Toronto and they don't have it here because it was made in Canada. Okay, a few more shower things. So this I have used for years. I've purchased probably at least 20 times in my lifetime, but I just got it again. So I wanted to shut it out. This is from the body shop. This is their peppermint pumice foot scrub. This is by far my favorite foot scrub. It's not that much money and it lasts a really long time too. So just a little of this on like a pumice board. I love this one. And then something else that I got, this I did see in Harush's um, 40 favorites as well. Um, but I had already purchased it because I saw it at, um, they have like a makeup store here called Douglas and I saw it there and it is from, okay, Colastar Milano and I'm just trying to find the name of it. Okay, so this is their firming Talasso scrub. So it's a detoxifying, exfoliating salt scrub with essential oils and cherry extract. And what is really cool about this, I really, because I felt my skin was really dry here, I just wanted to like really scrub it. Um, this, you have to be careful with it because it's very powerful. Um, so you don't have to scrub too hard. It just, you know, you can gently rub it into your skin, but you can maybe see there's some oil sitting on top of it. So basically it claims that you don't need any body lotion after you use this because the oils really make your skin moisturized. And it's true when you use this, your skin just feels so clean, smooth, moisturized. You just have to be careful not to scrub too hard with it. And again, it is a little bit pricey, but I got it on sale. I think it's one of those products that always goes on sale and they have various versions of it. Like they have detoxifying ones and yeah, it seems like they have a lot of cool ones, but yeah, this is just a really good scrub for the shower. Just be careful not to spill it because it is quite oily. Oh my God, if you guys are looking for a face scrub, like you just feel like like, you know, after winter, your face needs a good scrub. You guys have to get this. This is one of the best products I've ever used. So this is from Joanna Vargas. It is their exfoliating mask. So what you do with it, I think it's made of volcanic ash and I'll try to show it to you without spilling. It's that color. It's very, very, very fine, gritty particles. It almost feels like a micro sand. I've just never found a face scrub that feels like this. So you scrub it onto your skin for one minute and you can let it sit for up to five minutes and use it as a mask. Be careful not to get it in your eyes. Even the next day, my skin just felt so clean, glowing. Um, my fiance, because he has a like a really, really thick beard, I think it's very hard for him to like get in and scrub his face. So often in the winter, he'll get dry skin kind of just like around the edge of his beard. And I told him, I'm like, you need to use this and being a typical man they never do anything for skincare his skin was glowing for two days after using this he was just like raving about it he's like I can't believe it his skin just looks so much healthier this thing is amazing I think this is going to be one of those products like I always will spring for it's it's really that good Wait, I have a few more beauty products and then I have a few clothing pieces. Stay tuned because they're really good ones. I'll show you at the end. So I also got this Augustinus Bader. This is their foaming cleanser. And I've always wanted to try this brand. I needed a new cleanser. This is just very soft, gentle. I believe it's, yeah, it's formulated in Germany, made in the UK. It is pretty expensive, but it's supposed to brighten your skin. Um, that's what I suffer with. You can't tell because I have makeup, but I have some dark spots and it's just from aging and whatnot um so i've been using this only a week so i can't really comment on that but i do really like this so if you suffer with finding like a very gentle cleanser this is almost like a cream foaming cleanser it's really nice um i also though really like caudalie 
um, cleansers and they're a lot more affordable than this one, at least in France. So it just kind of depends where you live. But this one compared to other things in her line of skincare is much more affordable. And you only, it says you only need a dime size amount. So I feel like this is something that lathers. You don't really need much of it. And what I've been doing is just lathering it on and then letting it sit for a few minutes because I got thinking probably with face washes, none of us really let them sit on long enough and let them do what they're supposed to do. We just, you know, scrub our face and then rinse it off immediately. So I just figured because this is supposed to brighten I'll leave it um, and I'll let it sit on a little bit longer but I would recommend this for sure something that I got in the pharmacy here that I see everywhere in Europe but I've never seen this in Canada so we have this brand of hair gels but not the eyebrow gel so this is just the Schwarzkopf got to be eyebrow gel and you can also use it to lay down baby hairs or flyaways and I think the price here was maybe around like eight dollars or something and you get a very big tube of it this is like eyebrow glue so if you like that laminated look i feel like you know that look of the brows being brushed right up that's a little bit crazy um i think it's a little bit out of style now but if you have unruly brows like me that just like to go everywhere this is really good i would say my favorite is still the anastasia one but this one is so much cheaper and you get more product so um yeah i just figured i'll try this one i just wanted to shout this brush out again because i had to repurchase it my other one you know it was kind of falling apart i've had it for too long so this is just the real techniques this is called their expert face brush i use this for foundation and then also concealer i just pat it under my eyes and this is excellent i think in my life i've repurchased this three or four times i just i think maybe i wash my brushes maybe a little too much so sometimes the hairs come out probably more than other people's but yeah definitely would recommend this and it's very affordable next up is the lip product that i'm wearing right now actually so this was a sample i got from sephora right before i moved and this is from grande lips and it is their hydrating lip plumper and it's just a clear gloss but it's so shiny it's the tiniest bit tingly but not too much so it doesn't like burn or irritate your lips but i just really like the shine i think the full version comes in a container that has like a little paintbrush that you paint it on so it might look a little bit different than this but as soon as i use this up i will definitely repurchase the bigger size so next up is a blush that i recently got also from douglas and i wanted a clean version of a blush that i really liked from covergirl so um years ago i heard that girl i don't even know if she does youtube anymore i think her name was chris either crispy or chrissy can't remember so she recommended a color that looks good on everybody she's like it's covergirl um just their classic pink blush and it was so good i really love that color but i think it has bad ingredients in it so here i didn't realize i can't find covergirl here in europe i even looked in london maybe they don't sell it here which is weird i thought it was like sold all over the world but i got from douglas this brand it said it was a clean brand lily lolo it says made in i think it's made in ireland i just got their in the pink and i would say this is the most comparable to the classic pink and i really like how it went on um it almost looks identical but i feel better using this that it's a clean brand i'll be honest i've tried a lot of clean makeups and i don't like them so i just try to use clean things where i can but i'm not going to be perfect um, sometimes I just feel like some of those other ones just work better, even though they might not have the best ingredients, but I don't know. I'm just like, I'm pretty loyal to my makeup. I don't experiment too much. So I don't want to waste a bunch of money trying new things that I know that I'm probably not going to like. So I always usually have a burrito hand cream. I've got a new scent here. Um, this is their hand and nail cream in the vetiver or vetiver scent. I love this. It has a more masculine scent it's hard to describe it's almost leathery peppery but soft baby powderish i love it i love it i love all of his products and then a perfume that i got and i was looking for the travel size just um you know just if you're going away for a few days um now that we're in europe like our life is so different we can go to all these places for not much money and just for like a few days get away go away on the train so i just wanted a travel perfume and this is celine's black tie 
I love this. This is my favorite Celine scent. I also like their Dom Paris scent. So this definitely has a baby powderish vanilla undertone. This is unisex. Um, you know, it's called black tie. So I would definitely say it's more of an evening scent, but yeah, it's delicious. And their smaller scents like this are definitely more affordable. This was always sold out in Canada, but um, here that they had it. So I just ordered it from the Celine store here in Geneva. Two other scents that I was just saving to open. I bought these back in Toronto, but actually I think this brand is a little bit cheaper here. Um, some brands like this, it's just cheaper to get in Europe, but I was saving them. So this is the Diptyque Bay's room spray and their candle. I've had the candle before. I think maybe this is my third one ever. Um, this time though, I always forget and I throw out the jar, but I've seen people keep the jar and just put like Q-tips or cotton pads or makeup brushes in it. So I'll do that when I use it up. And also the Bay's room spray, oh my God, this makes me so happy. You can just put one little spray and I feel like it will stay in the room for a few days. And it almost has like a like clean laundry-ish type scent, but more higher end than that. I don't really know how to describe it. And I actually find the candle smells better when you just leave it sitting as opposed to burning. It's really weird, but even with it just sitting on the table or the fireplace, it makes the room smell really nice. I, I love this scent. Maybe one day I'll spring for the really big one. It's just really expensive. Oh, but something we notice, um, this is just, this is how ridiculous the prices are. Um, that big candle is $250 Canadian cheaper here in Switzerland, which is insane. Almost done three more clothing items, but I think you guys will like them. So I got this Zara jacket that I think everybody and their mother has. So I think there's two versions of this. It's called, kind of like a olive -y green color, but it almost is, looks a little bit gray in some lights. So this is faux leather, it's pretty affordable. So I wanted it very oversized, so I actually got the size extra large. I tried on the medium, large, and extra large. The medium was too fitted, and I don't really think it closed properly. Um, the large was okay, but I just felt like the extra large was cooler, and I wore this in my last video. The only thing I will say that I don't love is that the uh, the little belt here is way too long, maybe because it's an extra large, but it's like too big for my waist, but I just leave it dangling. And yeah, I really like it. I've worn this a ton. Um, this looks nice. I find when you're wearing all black, you can just layer this on top. Cause sometimes when I'm wearing all black and then I put my black leather jacket on, it looks a little weird. This is just, I don't know, the color I feel like looks really nice on everybody. So there is another version that has, um, I forget what they're called, those things on the shoulders. That one is not this though. So one other thing that I got from Zara and I'm glad it's not too big because I don't know why, nothing on my body is small except my neck is a little bit small. I find most chokers are too big, but I got this, it was very affordable. It's just a satin black flower choker and I thought this would be nice. Um, you know, say if you're like a guest at a wedding and you just have a plain black dress or some sort of plain dress and you just want to make it look a little bit fancier or even you're going out for dinner but I, I felt like this one might be better suited for a wedding and it just has um, satin covered buttons there's two different buttons on it so you can make it a little bit smaller sorry it's not gonna look good because I have a turtleneck on but I'll just show you guys I just thought that looked pretty like if you have your hair pulled back and it's off to the side it is quite big though might get a little bit annoying. Maybe if you're wearing this, I would be careful not to put too much makeup on your jawline. But yeah, I just thought it was pretty and it was very affordable. And I guess you could wear it. Maybe that looks a little bit weird. I think it looks better when it's off to the side for sure. Okay, and then the final thing I got, oh my God, I am in love with this. This is from Mango and it is a size medium. Normally in the past, I was not a huge fan of Mango just because I felt like things were overpriced and the quality seemed very cheap to me um i will say sometimes when i go in that store i hate everything but i went in the other day and i actually loved a lot of things so how i will wear this i'm gonna wear this more like a shirt and i got this to wear under my frankie shop blazer it's like a beige blazer i'll just obviously i wouldn't wear it with this turtleneck i'll just show you guys how it fits so it's a medium it runs true to size so I'll try this vest on for you guys just so you can see how it fits if you want to order it.
and here the vest is you guys and i just thought it would look good with this frankie shop blazer thank you so much for watching i know that was long i'll try to link everything in the order that i spoke about it and if you want join the 75 hard challenge with me we'll be feeling really good for summer it really is more for obviously your body but also it's more like a mental um, program and it'll just make you feel good if you can accomplish this and we'll be feeling good by the time the summer months hit also too if you want me to do a q a you can leave me any questions um you know within reason i'm pretty much an open book or if you have any questions about us moving here or you know maybe you're new to this channel you just want to know more about me i think i did film a video like that in the past but i took it down i took down some of my older ones and yeah as always i really appreciate you guys watching bye